Yes, Ewe, Ewe, all about love and your genetic engineering and the gay gene and gene manipulation. Uh, genetic engineering is your general electric. Yeah, Mahabharata, even came before your Bible. Your emerald tablets had this genetic engineering. Tahuti of Egypt came before your Bible, right? Let's just review all this stuff. Greek mythology had virgin births, DNA stuff before your Bible, okay? And even in Ireland, even Tuatha Di Danan, before your Bible, they had a virgin birth, DNA, you know, genes uh, created. Now, Kunti of your uh, Bhagavad Gita or your Mahabharata, Kunti uh, had a virgin birth, okay? That's India. Now, very simple. Even in your emerald tablets, you find genetic engineering, right? And you also find in Judges 13, there was some kind of a virgin birth. Well, we know that Christ came from Virgin Mary. Here is your Judges 13, Ewit, in which you find a wife who was sterile and cannot have a child. And then an angel of the Lord says, you are sterile and childless, but you are going to conceive and have a son. That's genetic engineering or a higher consciousness. Hesiod in Greek mythology, goddess Aphrodite, was born from the foam of the sea and one of the uh, testicles of Uranus, castration, castratos. Yeah, goddess Aphrodite is Venus. William is Bill. Mm -hmm. Now, in ancient uh, Irish mythology, you find that this god called Lu Lamfada El El J, he became a mayfly, landed in her cup of wine, and he impregnated her, Lu of uh, Ireland, wake up. Now, very simple, that's a firefly. Now, there you go, Lou, right there, virginity, and it's uh, Tuatha Di Danan of Ireland. So wake your ass up. Now, Zeus also, even swallowed the fly, known as Metis, the fly, the movie, the fly's Taurus field, same letters. And Zeus had his head chopped open by an ax. How many horror movies that have that? And Athena jumped out of his head in armor. As a warrior, it's Venus. You better wake up, women. Now, virgin births all in your text. Buddha came as a white elephant into a womb. Okay, and Krishna, virgin birth. But quickly, look at this one right here. In Japan, Momotaro was found inside the womb as a giant peach, even. In Japan, you better wake up. Wow. Now, Momotaro means a peach boy and Taro, tear up at the earth, peach boy. That is your James and the Giant Peach. James is Jupiter. Wake up. That is your Peach of Mario Brothers and his Japanese people. Right. Now, Momotaro in Japan means Taro. Momotaro. Taro. What the hell is uh, your Taro? Ibit. And your Irish culture is the same thing, is it not? And your Tuatha Di Danan. Japan and Ireland. Africa is Terra or Taro. And it means the what? The earth. You need to wake up. And it relates to Afro. Daiti? Right. It's more than your hair, black people. Now, you have a, g a gay gene even to issue today with genetic engineering. That's general electric. You better wake up. Now, you also have something called parthenogenesis, right? Where insects can have a virgin birth. Look, creation of birth, and they don't have to have sex with uh, who? You have it with uh, flies and insects, fish. Okay, an animal, certain ones. That's insects. That is your genesis, yes or no, in the Bible. Wake up and relates to insects. Don't kill them. Review. Aphrodite is Venus. Jupiter is Zeus or Krishna. Saturn is Lu of Ireland or Kronos. Vishnu is Pluto, apparently, as well. And all these things are stars, y'all, in your genes. Sanskrit, Bra, Braspati is the name for Jupiter. So you better wake up, came before Latin. Jupiter is a real orb or a gene cell uh, with a P100 camera, which NASA is lying to you. Wake your ass up. Venus is a real right there with a P900 camera, okay? And NASA is showing you this, but your Nikon is showing you a mist, and NASA shows you a red ball like Mars. Wake up. And, of course, your Orion's belt with a P900 camera is a uh, the gay flag. So homosexuality would be a gene. There's your uh, Uranus, means homosexuality. It's Uranian, uh, homosexual. Uranian is Uranus. Your phosphorus review is your morning star. It's in your urine. So you're all stars. Now, Luciferase relates to fire fireflies, fast food, Foo Fighters, and Lucifer, which is Satan, Saturn, morning star, and Venus, damn it. You need to wake up. Now, very simple. Hmm. Here is your firefly. Ewe, ewe. And they light up the light of Lucifer. 
Now, very simple. Firefly, Lucy. You have Lucy's curse. Even Ellen C. by who? This Kendrick Lamar guy, right? Hmm, who's Lucy but Lucifer? What's he doing? Now, in Chaldean numerology, LC is 33, like in Pythagorean in Greece. 33 bones in your spine. Christ dies at 33. An octave, eat it, of Mars. You better wake up right here. Damn it, it's 33. That's why your Freemasons love this, and Christ dies at that age. Here is your Mars with a P900 camera. It's a mist, not a planet. They're lying to you. Now, that is NASA's version of Mars. Review. They're playing around with your brain and your DNA. Now, child, the numerology relates to your DNA because it is NNC. Is it mind control? NNC? Hippocampus? Is Neptune's chariot? That would be who? Nick Cannon and your, I don't know, your uh, child, the numerology? Now, here is Neptune with a P900 camera. Neptune. You understand me? 900, Nikon, get a camera. It's not what NASA is showing you. Now, that's in your brain, yo, or your DNA. Hippocampus review is in your brain in case you are slow. Wake up. Now, back to Lucy Fries. Uh, Lucifer is fireflies, and Lucifer, Satan, Saturn, morning star, and Venus. Review. Your phosphorus is morning star. You're an insect, Venus, and it's in your urine. Review. Very good, Jay. Now, you have a locust, Coruleus, a firefly. That's LNC again. Wow, watch this. For Kendrick Lamar, the rapper, Lucy's curse is LNC, they're going into your mind. Now, locust relates to a locust. They're in your Bible, yes or no? Yes, they are. And you have uh, genetically modified insects in their DNA, and you find a riddle. What's the riddle to the DNA genetic engineering problem? Well, R-I-D-L in Chaldean will blow your damn mind is 10, ding, ding, ding. I don't play games. Now, your moon's octave has what? 7, 37 is 10. 7, 8, 9, 10 is your moon, damn it. You have a lunate bone, crescent moon, nowhere to go in your damn hand. You better wake up because Elon Musk didn't tell you that or Einstein. And you had genetic manipulation back in Sumeria in ancient times. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Shiva Boom Om Jai Chi, please donate. Otherwise, you'll be genetically modified through your brain and through your pop culture. And you better love yourselves and share this one. It was Firefly. Please donate. You are the problem, not the Illuminati, if you do not research. This is called activism and fighting back with your own wisdom. You can't beat them physically. Hi, beat them with your mind, your locus carulius fly. Much love.